Have you ever wondered what happens to your body when you die? Or how much of a financial burden it might leave on your family? Well, here today at O'Brien's Funeral Home in Wall Township, New Jersey, you will get a better look and you'll have a better understanding of exactly what may happen after you die. We are going to take a behind the scenes look at the funeral process as a whole, including floral arrangements, burial grounds, casket selection, and even special requests you may have. After the notification of a recent passing, what are the um, necessary steps you need to take? In most cases, when a person passes away, he's at a local hospital, Jersey Shore Medical Center as an example. What happens is the funeral home receives a call from the next of kin or a hospice nurse or whomever is the responsible party to notify us that a person's passed away. Um, we would then contact the hospital. Once all the paperwork is complete, we transfer the remains here to the funeral home. At that point, the funeral director is going to do the embalming and preparation of the remains. They would go down and, you know, in, in our funeral home here, the embalming room is downstairs. Uh, go down, make an assessment of the situation, what chemicals and things like that they're going to need to prepare the person. And then from there, we would schedule the family to come in for some arrangements to complete the funeral arrangements. Point of the funeral arrangements, we would have them come in. We would make, you know, selection of what they want to do as far as visitation, uh, contacting a local church on their behalf, preparing obituary notices. These are all things that are part of the funeral arrangement. What are some circumstances that would determine that a, um, they couldn't have an open casket? A lot of times that's determined by, first, more than anything, it would be the immediate family. Second would be really the options and the things that we can prepare, do as far as preparation of the remains here at the funeral home to make them viewable. In some cases, there's nothing we can do, and in that case, many times it's from an accident. Sometimes, uh, uh, you know, not necessarily just an accident as a car accident, sometimes industrial accidents, explosions, you know, things like that, train accidents, motor vehicle accidents, boating accidents, drowning. Things like that, sometimes there is not a way possible to prepare a person for vi public visitation with an open casket. What's the traditional uh, funeral service price range that you have here? As far as the funeral goes, we, you, you're you going to have a standard service, and then from there you're going to pick your casket and you're going to pick your vault, and that's going to be what your package is going to consist of. Typically a funeral in our area with a medium price range casket, medium price range vault, uh, just the funeral home charges probably going to be around including those items, it's probably going to be somewhere around, uh, say, maybe $8,000. So what is the uh, average price range of a casket? Here at this funeral home, the average price for a casket, I would say, is probably about $2,600, $2,700. That's the cost of the family. Uh, but the range would, uh, would go from uh, a, a minimum of $810 for a 20-gauge steel casket up to, I would say, in the neighborhood of sixty or $70,000 for a... Uh, uh, a solid bronze or solid gold plated casket which is what Michael Jackson was in actually I saw that I just saw a funeral bill on the TV the other day I've been a funeral director over 20 years and we've I've never sold a casket that was more than twelve thousand dollars and that was on that was an extreme oddball case to sell one that expensive so typically the average is about 23 28 somewhere in that around that price range for what we do here at this funeral home. so are there any special requests you get here uh, I think uh, a good way to answer that is to say that uh, every funeral is more or less a special request based on each individual family's preferences of what they want. There's a lot of requests as far as putting certain things in the casket that may belong to the deceased. Um, you know, a lot of times now you see if the person, uh, as an example, like to put Atlantic City, people put a deck of cards in, sometimes they'll put some, a bottle of liquor in, sometimes they'll put a can of beer in all different kinds of things. Sometimes they put their cremated pets that have passed away before them with them. Um, you know, requests like that are not special, but they're special to those people. You pretty much, uh, anything you can think of, people have tried to do with their funerals and to make things a little more personal for themselves. Now that you've had an inside look on the funeral process, you may have a better understanding of what it takes to put a loved one to rest.